Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Today we've got a special upload. A match in the Tecmo Owners League. Season 6. This is week 1. Buffy's Slayer versus Philly's Finest. I'm your host, Green Magic. I'm also the coach of Buffy's Slayers. This is a simulated league where the coaches create the player names and distribute the attribute points for the players and they get to choose the playbooks but the games themselves are simulated. Buffy's Slayers feature Dark Willow at running back who has a nice gain of about 30 yards. The first play was a called play a blitz that the the slayers weren't able to get out of and we've got a fumble a called play and I'll tell you what that run one could be detrimental for the slayers it the run one slot had to be a play given to the running back too and I gotta say the Zeppo Xander he's no Dark Willow on his very first handoff he fumbles it Philly's finest takes it back for six we've got Seth Green Oz with the return only gets to the 12 yard line we've got Buffy Summers under center and she gets five yards on the QB sneak. <clears throat> and we've got a crazy defender just blitzing through everyone. Buffy's able to get the pass off. It is deflected. Another quick pass. There was pressure again. And just like that, on their first full possession, Buffy's Slayers pass the punt. A special teams player just zipping in there, almost getting a piece of that ball. Joss Whedon punts it. It's returned to the 35-yard line. Out of the red gun formation, we've got a blitz. Iverson drops a dime to Schmidt. It's a 15-yard gain and a first down. Out of a one-back set, finest go off right tackle, Rocky Balboa. Gets about four yards. Iverson drops back. Overthrown. Can't catch the man on the route. And it is third and six for Philly's finest. Pitch out left to Schmidt. And he gets past the first down marker. And about five more yards. Nice conversion for Philly's finest. First and ten from about the 38-yard line. We've got... A catch. We've got a fumble. Carmilla takes the ball into Philly's finest territory. What a play. A diving tackle, fumble force, and a fumble recovery. We've got another run one for Buffy Slayers. That is called. At least Xander did not fumble this one. We've got another call play. Sometimes these called plays just... Ra rack up like dominoes. Buffy Summers breaks through. Zigging. She's zagging. Oh my gosh. What a run. She's out to the 20. To the 10. Finally gets stopped at the 6 yard line. Buffy Summers. A.K.A. Sarah Michelle Galar. All the way to the 6 yard line on 3rd and long. First and goal. Pitch outside to Dark Willow. She has the, the Slayer's first touchdown of the season and I, as the Slayers coach <clears throat> I can tell you Dark Willow was paid a pretty penny they are hoping to get a lot of production out of her this year Harper takes the kick out of the end zone he's got speed looks like a little power too all the way out to the 20 yard yard line Philly's finest they go off tackle, Rocky Balboa, just a couple yards well defended by the Slayers. 
Iverson drops back. And the Master gets the sack, beats his man, the Master, the Season 1 villain from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And looks like we've got a tackle in the backfield. That could have been their linebacker for Lady Gaga. Billy's Finest will punt back to the Slayers beginning of the second quarter. Seth Green Oz takes it from the 24. He's got space to run but goes right into a few of the special teams players for Philly's Finest. Buffy Summer drops back, has a check down option, but tosses it instead into double coverage. That was their wide receiver one, Gail Slayers, not able to come down with it. We've got another call play on that pass two, which is a play action fake. And we've got the Zeppo Xander rumbles and tumbles for about four yards. But it is fourth and eight. Joss Whedon will have to punt it away for the Slayers. And it will be into the end zone for a touchback. Probably better for the Slayers it was a touchback because that returner looks deadly. Looks like we've got a wide receiver reversed. Benjamin Franklin gets caught behind the line. A loss of four. Out of the offset eye, pitched outside to Schmidt. And he gets those yards back. And even more, third and short. Very manageable for Philly's finest. From their 26-yard line, Iverson checks down to Schmidt, but it's incomplete. The doinker. And Philly's finest stutters. Three and out. They'll punt back. Seth Green Oz has a chance here to flip the field from his own five yard line. Gets caught up and great punt coverage by Philly's finest. Buffy Summers snaps the ball from the 12 yard line. Another run up the gut. The Zeppo Xander slayers. A little unlucky in that and a diver there he is gail slayers 25 yard toss great accuracy by buffy another called play but dark willow takes it past the first yard line showing off that speed that rushing power man in motion dark willow only gets one yard there very well defended by philly's finest Offset eye, we have another player crashing through, but Buffy gets off the pass, and it is a big chunk gain to Dark Willow. Out of trips right, pitched outside to Willow, gets to about the three yard line, second and three, Slayers looking to punch it in, Buffy Summers, QB sneak, great play call. And the Slayers get the go-ahead touchdown. As the Slayers coach, I gotta say, feel good about what this offense is doing. It's, it's a little nerve-wracking to see how easily the defensive line is able to, to penetrate. Uh, as the offensive linemen, I have the five musicians from the band Slayer as you do great return by schmidt all the way to the 32 yard line iverson has a man open finds him and it is a 15 yard pass for a first down although it looked like a safety is there i have to confess the interception rating is not very high at all across the board for the slayers they're more built on speed try to get coverage on the ball and not as well equipped for interception turnovers and we've got a man racing through the line nearly blocked but it is converted after that nice touchdown pass from Iverson to the wide receiver kick into the end zone Seth Green odds he has speed but he gets caught up at the 14 yard line one minute left in the first half. 
We're all tied up at 14, and there we go, the Philly Fanatic. We find out what his name is. He has been giving the Slayers offensive line fits all game. And there's a safety, Joe Frazier. Bust through the line. Not surprisingly, Joe Frazier, one of the best boxers of all time. And the Slayers almost catch Harper back at the 30, but he takes it all the way to midfield, but he is injured. Bryce Harper. And we'll have Day as the returner instead. Iverson up the gut. Rocky Balboa, nice moves. Shaking and baking. The Italian Stallion himself. And we've got a called play. We've got Edward Cullen with the sack, the nose tackle for the Slayers. Mr. Robert Pattinson himself winning his one-on-one. -on -one. Iverson breaks outside, but can't get past that second level. Fourth and ten, and the finest are going for a long field goal. They must have paid their kicker, Tina Fay. She launches it, and it's good. And just like that, Philly's Finest gets five points. And unless the Slayers are able to do something miraculous, no, no return for Oz. And we've got a pitch outside to Willow. This could be a home run hitting play. She doesn't look exceptionally fast. She may have gone into bad condition. And there we have halftime in this week one matchup. Philly's Finest comes back scoring 11 unanswered points. They find themselves up 19 to 14 and receiving the ball. They have their backup kick returner in. The slowness shows. Day brings it out just to the 22-yard line. Got an off-tackle run. Rocky Balboa gets a decent gain, second and six. Out of the run-and-shoot formation, we've got a blitz. And Blade is there. The linebacker, too. Wesley Snipes gets the sack. Great protection on this play. And Iverson just does not choose to throw it. Had a man open for the check down, but couldn't see it. And Swedish Ellie, the vampire from the Swedish film, let the right one in. Breaks through the offensive line, gets the sack. Philly's fine is forced to punt. Decent field position. For the Slayers, Buffy, with the QB sneak, only gets the one yard. Looked like she had some good blocking, but, and she goes yet again. A little bit of stubbornness, <laughs> shown by Sarah Michelle Gellar. And she, looks like she has wide receiver one open, as well as the tight end, Lena Inverse. And we've got a 15-yard pass. Nice dime dropped by Buffy Summers. And we've got a fumble. Buffy fumbles, but it's picked up by Jeff Hanneman, the band member from Slayer. And we've got another defensive lineman breaking through. Flyers Gritty, one of the scariest mascots in all of professional sports. The protection is there. Lena Inverse, one-handed catch. Getting close to the first down, but it's five yards away. And out trots Librarian Giles. This could be a little low. Is he able to knock it in? He is not! No! Apparently, I forgot to pay Giles. <laughs> because that looked like a makeable field goal. Schmidt, nice little move, but only gets one yard. Iverson out of the offset eye. And he chooses to run. He tucks it. Third and manageable for Philly's finest from their own 42-yard line. Benjamin Franklin has it. 
he dips his, he does, he invades about five defenders, gets the first down. What a huge conversion. Sometimes that wide receiver reverse will work for you. Rocky Balboa sprints through the line. Looks like he's about at the marker. And we'll see the measurement. It is a first down. And now the Phillies finest are rolling. They go back to the wide receiver reverse. And it is blown up that might have been Blade. Out of the red gun formation. Iverson tucks it and Blade is there again. He's been playing very good defensive game. Out of the offset eye. Iverson has an option up top. He does get rid of it. The dive and the miss. But it's fourth and one. And now Tina Fey will trot out. Try to knock down her second field goal. This one looks a little bit high. But it rattles in. Tina Fey with the clutch field goal. The finest take an eight point lead. Which is very significant. In original Tecmo, 8-point is a two-score lead. Seth Green Oz showing some moves. Tries to split the last couple defenders, but working really hard to give decent field position to his team, the Slayers. And then, again, double-covered, Gale Slayers not able to come down with it. Out of trips right. Buffy has good protection. Up top, and there he is, Gale Slayers, connects on the 30-yard bomb to the 15-yard line, and the Slayers are in business, but Joe Frazier on a called play, sacks Buffy Summers, another called play, you hate to see it, two called plays in a row, supposedly the odds are 1-64. Check down to Lena Inverse despite being triple covered when Buffy had the wide receiver too open. It happens. Librarian Giles trying to make this one. It's good. And the Slayers are within five. They go for the onside kick. It's up and it's picked up by Iverson. That one did not fall the Slayer's way. Billy's Finest looking to add to their lead. Nice team tackling by the Slayers. Second and six. Out of the run and shoot. Iverson drops back. Checks it down to Schmidt. Schmidt has it to the Slayer's 28. Billy's Finest looking to get that field goal back or more. Rocky Balboa bounces it off tackle. A dive and a miss by a Slayer's defender. There's no one else there. Where were the safeties? We're going to have to take a look at that film. Because the safeties were not playing safe. Tina Fey kicks it off to the Slayers. Seth Green Oz. Another decent return. Takes it outside to the 40-yard line. Very good return by Seth Green Oz, the werewolf. I knew to expect good things. Two defenders blow through the line. Lena Inverse catches it in traffic. Four-yard gain. And the Philly Fanatic just taking over this game. Third and 15. Very tough to convert. Buffy has... He had protection, but waited too long. It's a sack. Fourth and 24. Slayer's going for it. This will be very difficult to convert, but you gotta go for it. The line blows up again, and Philly Fanatic, the MVP of the game, in my opinion. Slayers turn the ball over on downs. Check down to Chamberlain. 
gets the first down. Looks like he's got some speed, too. And Philly's fine. It's, if the game is not over already, they're looking for the dagger. Iverson with the toss. Balboa gets it, makes a move. And there it is. That about wraps it up. Billy's Finest comes out swinging. <laughs> the extra point is blocked, which is exciting, except <laughs> too little too late. Billy's Finest just piles it on in the second half. And essentially blowing out Buffy's Slayers. The defensive line was just too strong. And uh, Buffy tosses it to Slayer. I believe that's Justin Slayer. No, it's not. It's Dick Deer Slayer. My bad. I should know my own team. And Buffy throws it before the play is developed. Not surprisingly, she's a little skittish back there. Uh, her O-line has not held up very well. She's got a few options here, and Gail Slayers gets it to the 20, to the 10. Nice chunk in, but he fumbles, and it's all for naught. Merrill Hess recovers the fumble. Philly's Finest adding insult to injury. Very impressive beatdown today of Buffy's Slayers. Who had their moments today, but the offensive line could not hold up. The defense could not get stops late, and it's thrown out of bounds. Good game, Philly's finest. Looks like a solid team. Uh, really, in all three phases, looked like they had the, their their game together. Um, Slayer's showing some bright spots. Dark Willow with a good carrier too. Gail Slayer's a couple good catches, but it's not enough. Hopefully their offensive line can improve. Or it's going to be a long season for them. And we are looking through the conditions of the players. But I'm going to sign out. Thanks for watching. This is Green Magic. Enjoy the rest of the Tecmo Owners League season. We'll see you next time.